Come on, please don't be anything bad. Okay, how was that a curse? I mean, we basically read each other's minds anyways. So do I tell her I can read her mind now? Nah, I don't want to creep her out. That's kind of weird. Hey. Hey. How did you look so nice today? You look so pretty today too. I mean, you look so pretty every day, honestly. Um, thanks? She's totally lying. Why would she think I was lying to her? Bye, babe. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys are so cute. I have to get a new breakup. I can't wait to get a boyfriend out of the picture. Then she'll be all mine. I don't understand why she would be thinking all this stuff. Unless maybe she likes me. Does this mean she's going to try and ruin my relationship with Chris? I'm overthinking. There's no way this Amber Alert's for him. Breaking news, a teenage boy has been reported missing tonight. Chase? Hey girl, how are you? Not good. Didn't you hear the news about Chase? No. Macy, he's missing. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I gotta get to class. I think she might have Jace. That's it. I have to go talk to her. You wanted to talk to me? Uh, yeah. And, um, listen, this is kind of hard to say, but I know that you like me. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just... Good. She doesn't like her. She doesn't like It's just... It's just that I have a boyfriend? Mm, well, he's missing. And you'll be missing too. Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the achoo? No! At least it's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised. I know, I'm so sorry. Come on, girl, you're like the mutual friend. If you don't come, then no one else is gonna wanna come. Look, my parents said no. She doesn't wanna come to your party because she doesn't like you. You sure that's the reason? Yes, I wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. She's lying. Your mom just grounded her. Mom just grounded you. How did you know that? You weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. Ugh, whatever. Does this hair clip tell me the truth about people? Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry babe, I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry babe, I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart, then where does he... I'm following him. What is he doing here? This place looks super sketchy. What do you think you're doing, huh? Come here. Hey, boss, look who I found snooping around here. Babe, what, what is going on? Babe, you know this girl? I've never seen her before in my life. I'm sorry, did our two years together just mean nothing to you? Two years? Have you been keeping secrets from me? I told you, you know what the rules are. He's trying to protect you by lying. He works for very dangerous men. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. He's lying to protect you. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. <laughs> you see, sir, I would kill her, but you know, I don't want to mess up this new shirt, so- Either you kill her, or him and I will do it ourselves. No, please. Look, let's just all settle down. You just... I think I'm gonna need a change of clothes. Really, babe? The Mafia? You're lucky I find that kind of attractive. Well, I know a place we can lay low. I bet. But we gotta be careful who we trust. I have something that can help with that. Aw, you're so silly putting stickers on your face. <laughs> No! You killed your big sister! You can't ever laugh! It kills people! Look what you've done! Sissy! Here, before coming into the classroom, you must put this tape over your mouth. Why? It's a precaution issued by the school board, as kids are the highest risk for laughter. I don't want to wear the tape anymore! You must wear it! <laughs> We're just kids. He didn't do it on purpose. 
Listen, kid. I saved your life. You could have died. You should be thanking me. Mommy, you forgot to pick me up from school. Good evening. Police officer. There was an incident of laughing at your mother's work. She didn't make it. Stop laughing. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> What's going on here? You killed Officer Brad. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're gonna need backup. <laughs> Did you hear? She killed three police officers when she was seven. You know I can hear you, right? I was just a kid. I was traumatized from my mom just passing away. I couldn't control it. You're a murderer. A psycho. I can't listen to this any longer. Hey, are you okay? I can't believe what they're saying about you. I'm used to it. Want to hang out after school? There's somewhere I want to show you. We're almost there. Where are you taking me? We're here. In the middle of nowhere? You know those three police officers you killed? One of them was my dad. <laughs> Sissy! Oh no. Ellie? Sissy! Ellie! Should they lock you in the cabinet? Hurry, I'm losing oxygen! No, this better be the one. Ellie! I'm so glad you found me. It was so scary. They took me and hid me in the cabinet. This game is sick. Brianna, why do you look so down today? My little sister was chosen to be hidden this morning. I almost didn't find her in time. How about we make a pact? Pinky promised that if either of us gets hidden, we'll find each other. Pinky promised. It's your turn to be hidden. It's your turn to hide. Get in there. Where did they lock me? Help! Help! I was chosen to play hide and seek! Please, someone find me! Help! I don't have much time left! Help! Jake! Did you call my name? Jake, you found me. Of course I did. I promise you. I can't believe they locked you in a locker. It was awful. Well, it's a good thing I found you in time. You're the best, Jake. Girl, there you are. I was wondering what happened to you. You weren't in class. I got chosen to play hide and seek. Luckily, Jake was there to save me. Hey, it was nothing. I'll catch you later. Catch you later, Jake. Wait, you dropped this. Here, happy birthday, Brianna. Thank you. Are you okay? I'm feeling so weak. Oh no, honey, come with me now. Here, put this charger in your charging port right there. I've been secretly charging you every day, but it's time that you know. You're not like the other kids. If you don't charge yourself and your battery's gone, you'll die. You must keep this a secret, because if the other kids find out, they'll treat you differently, okay? Okay. I'm all charged and ready for the day. Welcome to gym class. Today we're going to be running 100 laps. Oh no. I'm gonna lose all my battery. You're what? Nothing. Keep running! I... I can't. I'll be back, coach. I need more charge. What the? I need more charge. What the? What are you doing? What are you doing here? Why'd you follow me, you creep? Why is there a charger plugged into you? I run on battery. If I don't recharge myself, I'll die. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Oh no, I forgot to charge myself last night. It's okay, I'm already late. I'll have to charge myself at school. Hey, watch out! I'm so sorry, Derek. I'm just super late, so I was in a rush. It's no problem. Here, you dropped your bag. Thank you. Class, turn to page 69. I need to charge myself. Where is it? My charger is gone! Hey, Brianna, I know your secret. Derek told the whole school. Sweetie, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. Mmm, lunchtime. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to eat lunch. Except, Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, oh, Mr. Wolf, please! <laughs> oh.
What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for everyone to go home. It's time to go home. I'll see you tomorrow, Bestie. Stay safe. You too. Mom, I'm home. I'm so hungry. Mom, is it time for dinner? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 5 p.m. It's time for me to have my dinner. <laughs> Mom. Mom! Sissy, where's Mommy? It's time for dinner. She's just sleeping. Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Who? Mr. Wolf! Mr. Wolf! Uh-oh. Looks like little Sissy ran out of time. It's time to be my no. meal. <laughs> Go away. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for school. You're late. I don't care. I'm not going. My mom and sister are gone. What? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for you to go to school. I told you I'm not going. Hmm. Who are your parents? Well, my parents are... Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. Bippity boppity boo. Daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not. I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. I'm the son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really? I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> let me go, you jerk! Who are you the son of anyway? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay, don't sing and I cut off all your hair. No. <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing. 
Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter. Now say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's called winning, mate. Hey! Is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's alright, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey, you're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. Are you still working for that billionaire? Yes, Mom. I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years, and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake? Oh. Hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny, I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry. I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired. Jenny, the news! Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor. He has amnesia. Do you know what this means? <sighs> not really. You can manipulate him. You want me to pretend to be a billionaire's girlfriend? There's already rumors you two have been hooking up anyways. What? Never mind. I'm just saying that it would be believable. Look, I don't know. Well, I do know. He took advantage of you because you're so sweet. You don't deserve this. You don't have enough money, and he needs payback. I can't do this. Tell them what we rehearsed. Can I help you? Hi, yes. I am here to see my boyfriend, Mr. Blake. I mean, Jason. I, I call him Jason. Okay, well, I'm sorry to inform you he has amnesia. Oh, no. Well, does that mean he's gonna, like, not know who I am? We'll see. Follow me. You! I feel like I know you. Oh, babe, your poor head. It's me, your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, it's okay if you don't remember my face, baby. I remember your face, but I don't remember liking it. Ow! <laughs> I'm glad to see he hasn't forgotten his sense of humor. You get to come home tomorrow. Where is my home? I will show you, and the kids will be so excited. Kids! Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see Mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're gonna call him... Daddy, but he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. And what is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. <laughs> yeah, you know what, would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any... Daddy! Uh, hi. Kid? <laughs> my name's Kitty Silly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> you know, kids, they just say the darnest things. <laughs> Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy! I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card! You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Good morning, how did you sleep? Not the best. Remind me again why I have to sleep on the couch? I told you, it's because you have a horrible snoring problem. Ugh, it keeps me up all night. Anyways, you should really get ready for work. What's my job? You are a garbage man. I am? Yes, you are. Now go get ready for work, and I'm gonna go make breakfast, okay? Honey, I'm home. Daddy, are those toys? They sure are. I got your favorite animal. A tiger. Mommy, he, he remembered. And for your sister, a bunny. And for your mother, flowers. Babe, these are my favorite. How, how did you know? A memory came to me of you picking some for me. Mr. Blake, I picked these for you. They're my favorites. Everything's still pretty fuzzy. Peekaboo! <laughs> she has your smile. I have a question. Yes? If we had two kids together and we're in love, then why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. 
Why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Well, I think now I want to. He wants to marry you? Jenny, this is amazing. Why don't you look happy? Because I am living in a fantasy. I used his money to get me out of debt. I have to tell him the truth. Besides, the doctor said his MRI checked out fine, so it's only a matter of time before he... Remembers everything? Honey, you're supposed to be at work. Cut the crap, Jenny. My memory is back. I don't ever want to see you again. Jason, I... You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. I'm sorry, I should have never... <laughs> Mommy, where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but, but it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy. Jason. I knew you'd come back. Where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but, but it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Jenny, these past few weeks with you and your kids made me understand there's more to life than just money. It turns out the person who brought me the most joy was right in front of me all along. I just didn't realize it. When I said I wanted to marry you, I meant it. I bought this for you last night. He wants to marry you, Mommy. Now we can be a real fan. Okay, what's my superpower? What is this? It's your birthday. What special power did you get? I don't know. There's just a bunch of colors over my head. Colors? Yeah, there's blue. What happened? Nothing. You just have blue lines on your face now. Oh, I selected it. It's so funny. She doesn't even get a real power. Hey, why would you say that? What? I never said anything. That was so weird. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, my dude, Jim. She'll never know how madly in love with her I am. You're in love with me? What? How did you know that? Whoa, I can read minds. Hey, is your birthday party still on at your place? Yes, of course it is. I really hope her mom's there. She is so fine. I'm so over this whole mind reading thing and stay away from my mom. I wonder what superpower Red will give me. Oh, oh I forgot. Puts lines on my face. Hmm. I don't feel any different. Guess what? My crush asked me out and we're going on a date tonight. Danger. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? You're never happy for me. No, you don't understand. It gave me a danger warning. A what? It looks safe to cross now. Let's danger. go. Danger. <gasps> Wait! Whoa, that was close. Your power's actually, like, really useful. Hey, I invited Jim to come study with us. Jim? Okay, but you know he's, like, madly in love with me, right? Really? Since when? Danger. 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 Oh, that must be Jim. I'll be back. I'll go Danger. let him in. Wait, no. Let's see what power Black gets me. What new power did you get? I'm not sure yet. 63 years left? Hey, Brianna, cool lines in your face. Very rad. Five years left? <laughs> what? Oh, it shows me how many years people have left to live. Huh? I would start taking better care of your health. You don't have much time left. You're crazy. 63 years. Why do you keep saying that? That's how long you have left to live. What? No way. I deserve way more than that. I have to study really hard if I want to go to med school next year. I think it's better if you just live in the moment. No, med school's my dream. Yeah, but life is very unpredictable. You never know in a year you could be gone. You're just jealous you can't get into med school. What power will I get for purple? Ooh, purple kind of suits me. Why haven't you left yet? It's 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? No way, I'm gonna be late for school. What's happening? Whoa, how did you get here? You're lucky. You made it just in time for the bell. Whoa, I can teleport. Class was so easy. Oh no, I forgot my bag. I got you, bestie. I got your bag, bestie. Thank you. And I also got this. What's that? It's the answers for the upcoming science test. I teleported into Mrs. Jennings' office and I took them. And the best part is, no one could have saw me go in. Because I didn't. I teleported. Brianna, we saw that you took the answers. 
Principal Smith, how is that possible? I never even went in. You know we have security cameras, right? I forgot about that. Gotta go. All right, it's time to see what the last power is. Brown. Ugh, looks like shit. Hey, Bessie. Hey, Brianna. Uh, where are you? What are you talking about? I'm literally right here. All right, wherever you're hiding, come out. I'm right in front of you. No, you aren't. <sighs> whatever joke you're playing or prank or whatever, it's not funny. Looks like Brianna's absent today. What? No, I'm literally right here. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Come out this instant. Why can nobody see me? Oh, that must be my new power. I can be invisible. How do I turn this off? Oh. Huh. When did you get here? Time to spy on people. What is my bestie doing over there with my boyfriend? Brianna can never know the truth about our love. I can't believe you're failing math. What is this? You are an absolute foul daughter, an embarrassment to this bit. I've had enough of that. So class, when one plus one equals four, you multiply by six and carry the A to the B. I need a nap to process this information. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have a look around. What's this? <gasps> This is all the answers! How did you do so well in math today? I guess you could say I am a math wizard. You are literally terrible at math. Hold that thought. Kevin's coming. Hey, why'd you pause it? How can you... I saw what you did in math today. What? How did you see me steal the answers? I was paused. And how are you talking to me right now? I'm paused. I don't know how or why, but I have the same ability as you. Also, I need those answers for math. What? No, I'm failing. I have a picture of you stealing the book. Give it to me or I'm going to report you. Fine. Where did Kevin go? He was just here. Kevin's stupid and I don't like him anymore. Psst. Kevin. Kevin! So, Kevin, I thought maybe if you wanted to be a nice guy, we could share the answers. Of course we can. For $50. Deal. Homework is all done. Code red, code red. There is an unknown stranger in the building. This is not a drill. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? Everyone, quickly, hide. Hey, why'd you pause it? Come on, Kevin. You and I are gonna go find this jerk. No, I'm not going. Let's wait for the police. Yeah, and by the time the police gets here, who knows what damage he could do? You can't play hero. This is real life. Fine. Suit yourself. <clears throat> Coward. Hey, wait! Where is that jerk? I see someone over there. Come quick. That's the guy. I don't understand. He's still moving around. How is that possible? We're paused. We should go back. He must have the same ability as us. It's not safe here. No way. I'm going to- It's you two. You're the ones I've been looking for. Come with me. Please. Please hurry. I'm not paused anymore. I don't hear any sirens. Calm down. I mean no harm. I've been sent here to protect you two. Protect us from what? There's people after you two. The ability you were given is very rare. Only a handful of people have it. They want to use you. What? Main character's best friend? I am definitely main character material. Hey bestie! Looks like you're the main character. And I'm just your sidekick. No way. You're way more than that. These roles are ridiculous. The roles for the school play are out? Ensemble. Oh my goodness, I got the lead! Yeah, of course you did. Bestie, look over there, it's Brad, head of the school football team. He is so dreamy. Did you see his role? It's the main character's love interest. It is? Yeah, but don't worry, I don't even like him. Really? I'm gonna go talk to him. Hey, Brad. Who are you? Here, give my number to your friend over there. She's beautiful. Sure. How'd it go? Great, he gave me his number. Nice, I'm going to practice. Wait! Can I do your makeup first? Right, makeup's almost done, just one final touch. I put something special in this just for you. It's burning really bad. Yeah, it's supposed to do that. I can't believe I just did that. I really let the jealousy get the better of me. What? Villain? I am not the villain. Hey, did you hear? Angela's in the hospital. They found poison in her system. That means she's still... Uh, I'm, is, is she okay? 
Yeah, they said she's gonna make a full recovery. We should all go visit her in the hospital. No! I'll go alone. I'm her best friend. Angela, how are you doing? I brought you some chocolate. You. It's you. I know what you did. This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh, no. Are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh, boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know a way you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait. She made this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid? Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you up to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar. She's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, oh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. 
Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's going to be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me. Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now, why don't you just fetch? No! Oh, thank goodness it's not broken. No. She locked me in here? Oh, no. It looks like they're already reading their vow. I have to pick this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No. Anne, what? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well, that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? And what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. Get adopted by a fireman or a billionaire? I think we should go with fireman because he's going to keep us safe. Yeah, I think so too. No billionaire. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. So, what are your names? I'm Margo. I'm Edith. And this is Agnes. Nice to meet you. Well, this is my home. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. This place is kind of creepy. It is. <sighs> There's nothing to watch. Did you hear that? I did. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I think it's coming from over there. There was definitely someone down there. I told you, Agnes, we should have picked the fireman. Excuse me, I need to speak with you. Me? Yes, you. I have a secret that you need to know. So, what's your secret? I have a secret lab, and I know you girls saw it. No, we didn't. Don't lie to me. I have cameras everywhere. I saw you. Creepy much? Okay, maybe we did. Well, I can't have you telling anyone about the lab. Uh-huh. Sounds like I should be calling CPS. No, I need you girls to help me with my plan. And what plan is that exactly? Go get your sisters and follow me. Whoa, what is that? Is that a laser? No. Who are you? I'm the doctor you saw in the lab. Well, what is this thing? My greatest achievement, a shrink ray. And we need human subjects to test it on. The doctor and I created this together. Wait a minute, so you're telling us that the only reason you adopted us was so you could use us as your lab rats? Not cool, dude. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that. Actually, we weren't asking. Run! Wait! Wait! We don't want to try out your machine! Yeah! It's okay, girls. You don't have to try it if you don't want to. We don't? No. But, sir, we only adopted them because- That's enough, Doctor. We're not forcing them to do anything. Thanks for taking us to get food, sir. Girls, please. You don't have to call me sir. Can we call you dad? Agnes! I was just asking. You can call me whatever you like. I feel like Darren likes us. I like him too. But that doctor, she creeps me out. Yeah, same. Good night, girls. Good, Good night, night, Dad. Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I need you to come with me. It's time for you to try out the machine. Shh. Would you stop knocking on the glass? You're not getting out of there. Now watch this. I'm going to demonstrate the shrink ray. Isn't that amazing? Now, to test it on you. Margo! Let her go! No, guys, run! Come here, girls. Stop! Doctor, what is going on? Dad, help us! Oh, be quiet. He's not even your real dad. Hey, that's enough. Let's see how you like it. Close your eyes, girls. No! 
What do you know? It works. Gary, you can't do this! <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for saving us. Of course. And I destroyed the machine. What? what? But I thought you said it was your greatest achievement. Actually, no, girls. My greatest achievement was adopting you. Please, don't be my bank account. I really don't need him to see how broke I am. My hand? Wait, which one? Oh, okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. I don't know what to wear. Okay, very funny genius, but I have class today, so no. Oh, actually, this could work. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, that was pretty cute, so I guess I won't be mad at him, but he owes me a new lipstick. Does anyone know the answer to letter A? No, I don't. Yes? Um, 22? Correct. Good job. Hey, beautiful. What do you say you come with me? Don't be scared. Come on. I just knocked somebody out. Or, I guess you did. Okay, yeah, I should probably go. Morning. I just want to say thank you for protecting me like that yesterday. So, I guess you can hear and see everything that I do? Well, guess I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> hey, would you stop that? Hey, Mia. Hi. I, uh, I like your dress. Oh, thanks. Can I have your snap? Yeah, sure, it's... Are you... are you good? Yeah, sorry about that. Why don't I just add you? Okay, my username is... What the... Actually, never mind. That was so embarrassing. Moo! Ow! Oh, I barely even pushed... <gasps> I am so sorry. Do you know how much this outfit was? No. Of course you don't, you idiot. Did you just... No, I... Zip it! You are gonna pay for my dry cleaning! Why are you so aggressive? I'm just trying to look out for you. Well, please tone it down because you're gonna get me in trouble. On my way, we're gonna party hard tonight. I am so excited. Okay, I'll be waiting. Come on, girl, let's go. Um, <laughs> let go of the door. I can't. Oh, I see what you're doing. No, I'm being serious. My soulmate, he's- Save it. You should have told me you didn't want to come. No, Sarah, wait. Thanks for wasting my gas. You know, I thought I asked you to tone it down. I don't need you to be acting like a, a parent to me. This is getting really annoying. When do I get to control him? Want to switch and control your soulmate? Yes. You will control your soulmate's hand with your mind. You will now be able to see and hear everything your soulmate does. Some things will be censored for privacy reasons. Oh, that's a relief. Are you ready to switch now? Yes. She's in control of me now? Great! Just don't do anything dirty. <gasps> ah! Jeez, I was just kidding! Oh, this is so fun. Ready for the concert? I sure am. Who is she? Oh, no he doesn't. Whoa! You good? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Chill, this is my sister. Whoops. Damn, and I thought I was overprotective. Sorry, I guess we both kind of are. <laughs> Did you receive any powers yet? No. Everyone's already received their powers but me. I guess I don't get any. <gasps> no, I missed the bus. Hey, want to fly to school with me? For sure, I'll race ya. We didn't fight you, Brianna, but... You have no powers. Whatever. I like walking anyways. You're a powerless freak. Nobody likes you. Hey, stop it. I never said anything. I know you're using your telepathic powers to bully me. How can a powerless loser like her even show her face at this school? I know. She shouldn't even exist. I can't take this anymore. Mom, I'm leaving this city. I'm the only person without a power. I don't belong here. I think that's best. Mom? Why did you call me? You need to come back right away. Since you left, everyone's lost their powers. 
When are you coming back? Everyone's so worried about their powers. Mom, I'm not coming back. Goodbye. Hello, miss. Mr. President? Come back with me right away. You're an important asset to the city. I won't. Everyone in that city treated me so badly because they thought I was powerless. Well, I can assure you that this time it won't be the case. Brianna, you're back. Oh my gosh, I missed you so much. Wow, your hair looks so nice today. Brianna, welcome. We're so grateful you're back. Yo, Brianna, I never told you this before, but I have a massive crush on you. Want a date? Girly, he's so cute. You guys should totally date. All of you guys are fake. You guys are only being nice to me because you want to keep your powers. <gasps> 24 hours? It's the first time it hasn't been zero. Look at that loser over there. She can never hear anything. Shh, she's looking over. Maybe she can hear. There's no way. She's never been able to hear her entire life. Hey, Brianna, your hair looks super ugly today. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, she can't even hear it. Leave her alone. Don't you have better things to do with your lives? They're such jerks. I'm sorry. Here. I wrote you a note since I know you can't hear me. Let's talk through these now, okay? Here. I have another note. You look so beautiful today. I really wish we could talk to each other. Dude, you are such a loser for hanging out with her. I don't think he's a loser. Wait, you can- Oh, please don't be zero. 24 hours again? That's the second time in a row. Hey, babe. Babe. Oh, no. You can't hear today? Here. I'll write you notes so we can still communicate, just like you did for me. OMG, bro, Blake has no hours today. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> hey, shut up. In class, that is why I believe the earth is flat. Now pay attention, this might be on the test tomorrow. You're lucky you can't hear anything. Mrs. Smith won't stop talking. <laughs> Look what you did, Brianna. Since you started dating Blake, he hasn't been able to hear anything. She must have cursed him. Actually, I can hear just fine. You can hear today? <laughs> you played me. Alright everyone, choose carefully between the blue or the red pill. Mine has a third option. It says green. That's so strange. I'm gonna choose it. It could be something amazing. Ooh. Brianna, look, I can fly. Whoa! What special ability did you get? I don't know. Nothing's happened yet. I probably don't even have ability. I knew I shouldn't have chose that green one. Don't look now. Your crush Kevin is coming this way. Hi, Kevin. Kevin! Oh, no. He's not breathing. Emily, what is going on? Emily! What happened here? I'll go get the nurse. Don't you understand, Brittany? They're gone. Brittany! What is going on? Wait a minute. It's me. I did this. Every time I said their name, they, they stopped breathing. What happened here? Uh, I, I don't know. Everybody just all of a sudden collapsed. Quickly, come with me. We need to figure out what's going on. Hello, I'm Officer Brad. Hello, Officer. I like to make this a comfortable environment. Don't worry, you can address me by my name. No. Don't be disrespectful. Say my name. It's rude not to do what a police officer says. Say it. Brad? I can't believe what happened to Officer Brad. He dropped, just like the others. I know, it's crazy. I found something strange on the security footage. Will you come have a look at it with me? Yeah, of course. There must be some kind of pattern. It looks like everybody dropped right after you said their name. Have you shown anybody else this footage? No, I just discovered it. You deleted everything! That's all I need. Goodbye, Susan. The teacher, she fell to the floor! I know, I don't know what happened! She's not breathing. You did something. You said goodbye and then she dropped. How did you know she would do that? You talk too much, Gary. Attention everyone. In order to keep all of our students safe, school will be cancelled until this situation is resolved. Thank you for your patience. Yay, no school! I hope this case never gets resolved. It's so weird what happened. They just stopped breathing for literally no reason. Look, it's her. She was there for the whole thing. She saw everything that happened. Yeah, and it was absolutely traumatizing. I'll need at least a week to recover. There's no way. You're definitely involved in this somehow. 
Yeah, she's right. How come you're the only one who's safe? You guys really need to know when to stop talking. Cynthia. No, no, please, I'm sorry. Jennifer. What? I only have one day left? Look who's 18 now. How much time did you get? One day. Here, I got 99 years. I'll give you some of my time. Thanks, but it doesn't really matter. My time's gonna run out sooner or later anyways. Hey, let's go to that coffee shop you love so much. It will cheer you up for sure. Good idea. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna use the bathroom. Why do you look so sad? Oh, you know, it's nothing. It's just that my time left is only one week, so... I wish I only had a week left. I got infinite time. I've already lived hundreds of years. Infinite time? That's not even possible. Where did she go? What did I miss? A strange lady just approached me telling me she has infinite time and that she wishes she only had a week left. Infinite time is impossible. No way. She gave me her infinite time. I I have to find her. Wait. Where did she go? She couldn't have gone that far. Brianna, don't you understand? She gave you all her time, meaning she's gone for good. I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna give you at least a couple hundred years, you know, so I'm not so lonely, living for all eternity. Error. Error. It won't let me. Either I give you my infinite years or nothing. I'm gonna be all alone. <laughs> Why are you crying? Are you okay? My time left is only two days. It's going to be okay. You're not going anywhere. No, you don't understand. It's over for me. I've already been lent so much time. What are you doing? Goodbye. Two million dollars or a pencil. Who in their right mind would ever pick- Tad, you're it! Pencil selected. <gasps> Sorry. You're done. You're done. I could have been rich. I could have been buying myself a new Tesla right now. But instead I'm stuck with this freaking mechanical pencil. Today, I want you all to write about something you wish would happen to you. Might as well put this to some use. I wish that I was famous and everyone wanted my autograph. I'm all done, Mr. Peters. Bree, is it, is it really you? Um, yeah, it's really me. Ah, guys, she's over here. So I'm pretty sure this thing is magic and I just made all of you guys think that I'm famous. Can I please get your autograph? No, I was here first! Okay, time to fix this. <laughs> Can I have that paper back? I'm just gonna erase everything. Whoa, it actually worked. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Can I please borrow your pencil? So, can I borrow it? You know what? It's actually broken. I just saw you using it. Well, my answer is no. Whatever, this is why no one likes you. Ugh. Let's see how popular she is after this. Jessica trips in front of her crush. Hey, Joshua! <laughs> Dude, she just tripped on air. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Wait, what if I just... A water bottle appeared in my hand. No way! So basically, I can have whatever I want. I just have to write it down. I don't feel like walking home today, so what if... Tom Holland picked me up from school today? Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Holland. Bye. I better put this in my pocket. Oh my gosh, mom, I think my pocket had a hole in it. Please tell me you saw my pencil. I think your sister got it, honey. She's upstairs drawing with it. What? Lily, do you have my pencil? Yeah, but I'm just borrowing it so I can write you a birthday card. Give it back. Wait, I'm drawing you as a princess with a really cute pink rose in your hand, see? <gasps> That's just how I imagined it. Lily, listen, I'm gonna need that back now. Is this pencil magic? Of course not. Hmm, let me see about that. Lily, don't you- My sister couldn't speak. No way, this is so cool! Okay, she can speak again. Lily, that pencil isn't a toy. You never share anything with me. I'm telling mom. Why are you being mean to Lily? I am not being mean to her. She literally stole my birthday gift. You wouldn't have even gotten the pencil if it wasn't for me. Oh yeah? Well watch what I'm gonna do. Is that pencil magic? No. We only have four minutes left. Write down the pencil never runs out of magic. Oh yeah, good idea. Air, that is not allowed. Oh come on. Hurry up and write stuff down then. Okay, okay. Ten seconds left. Let me write the last thing. Write fast. 
I'm done. Pencil deactivated. I think we did pretty well with the time that we had left. I mean, I'm now a multimillionaire. I can get free Chick-fil-A whenever I want. And I got this little guy. Do you think mom's gonna get mad at us for all this stuff? No, I think the last thing I wrote is gonna distract her a lot. Oh yeah, what did you wish for? Let me guess, a lifetime supply of candy? Uh, no, that wasn't what I wrote down exactly. Do you want to tell me why I woke up from my nap and had a baby bump all of a sudden? Lily, you didn't. What? I just really wanted a little baby brother, that's all. Well, it looks like you're gonna get your wish because this is just a regular pencil now. And the baby is due tomorrow. What? Whoa, she has a hundred lives. I wish I had a hundred lives. I'd have so much fun. Hey, Brianna, do you want to come jump off buildings with us later? No, I'm super busy. I'll pass today. Thank you, though. Come on, you have so many lives, you should use them. She has so many lives, and she doesn't even use them. That's so boring. If I had that many lives, I would not be like her. Did you want to come drowning with us? Not today. Sorry. Are you sure? It's going to be so much fun. I'm sure. Honey, come quick. We were in a terrible accident. Your sister's in critical condition. She's not going to make it. She'll need at least 99 lives to survive. But honey, you only have one life left. And that's all I need. Just do it. Hey, you're awake. Yes, sissy. I feel so much better. Uh, where'd your lives go? You have to cover up your one life or people will see you as a target. A target? Yes. They see people with one life as weak and want to eliminate them all. Why'd you cover up your lives? I was just sick of everyone bringing up how many lives I have. I just thought covering them up would be easier. You know, most people that cover up their lives only cover it up because they only have one life and they're scared. Last time you saw me, I had a hundred lives. How would I lose lives that fast? You know I never use them. Hey man, we should wipe that makeup right from her forehead and see how many lives she truly has. Good idea. It's against the law to cover up your lives anyways, and we don't want any one-lifers hanging around here. Whoa, Brianna, are you okay? Yeah, it's just, it's just really hot in here. Brianna, you only have one life left? I knew it. Let's get her! <laughs> How many words did you get this year? Zero? That's even less than last year. It's okay, baby. Don't be upset. How about I take you shopping? It will cheer you up. You like that dress? Alright, let's go buy it then. Oh, you want to try it on first? All right, let's go. I'm very sorry, sir, but it's only one person per change room. No, I have to come with her. She's going to need help with the zipper. Don't worry, sir. I'll be there to help her with that. Please wait here. Oh, it looks like you got the zipper just fine on your own. Help me. Help you? I... Do you know that man? Here, I'll donate some words to you. I contacted the police. They're already on their way. You tell them everything when they get here, okay? Wait right here. I'll be right back. What did I hear about the police? Let's go. We're going home. How could you do that to me? You're trying to leave me? That's it. No food for a week. I'm so sorry I had to take away your food, baby. You know I love you, but you trying to run away really broke my heart. I never had the words to believe it. Really? Is that how it is? No water today. Listen to me, baby. If you apologize, I'll give you your water privileges back. Police, open up! I'm in here! Here, happy birthday, Brianna. Thank you! Are you okay? I'm feeling so weird. Oh no, honey, come with me now! Here, put this charger in your charging port, right there. I've been secretly charging you every day, but it's time that you know. You're not like the other kids. If you don't charge yourself and your battery's gone, you'll die. You must keep this a secret, because if the other kids find out, they'll treat you differently, okay? Okay. I'm all charged and ready for the day. Welcome to gym class. Today we're going to be running 100 laps. Oh no. I'm gonna lose all my battery. You're what? Nothing. Keep running! I... I can't. I'll be back, coach. I need more charge. What the? I need more charge. What the? What are you doing? What are you doing here? Why'd you follow me, you creep? Why is there a charger plugged into you? I run on battery. 
If I don't recharge myself, I'll die. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Oh no. I forgot to charge myself last night. It's okay. I'm already late. I'll have to charge myself at school. Hey, watch out! I'm so sorry, Derek. I'm just super late, so I was in a rush. It's no problem. Here, you dropped your bag. Thank you. Class, turn to page 69. I need to charge myself. Where is it? My charger is gone! Hey, Brianna, I know your secret. Derek told the whole school. Sweetie, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. Mmm, lunchtime. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to eat lunch. Except Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, Mr. Wolf, please! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for everyone to go home. It's time to go home. I'll see you tomorrow, bestie. Stay safe. You too. Mom, I'm home. I'm so hungry. Mom, is it time for dinner? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 5 p.m. It's time for me to have my dinner. <laughs> Mom! Sissy, where's Mommy? It's time for dinner. She's just sleeping. Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Who? Mr. Wolf! Mr. Wolf! Uh-oh. Looks like little Sissy ran out of time. It's time to be my no. meal. <sighs> Go away. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for school. You're late. I don't care. I'm not going. My mom and sister are gone. What? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for you to go to school. I told you I'm not going. 